Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is sixth video in Palace Remote Application Server um, tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Palace RAS client on Windows client machine and then how we can connect the uh, RSA, uh, uh, Palace RSA server to launch the application. So we'll see how we can do this. So let's see what we have in this demo environment so basically we are going to use four virtual machine in this demo environment so the first machine is win2k16 dc01 which is our active directory server and my domain name is victorinfosol.com so this is the same domain controller which we are using since our first video so here it is active directory and dns role on this machine if i go to local server you can see win2k16 dc01 and domain name is victorinfosol.com so this is my active directory server and my second server is parallels01 which is my parallel server parallel RAS server you can see here so this is parallels01 and on the desktop you can see parallels remote application server console so I'm going to launch this console so you can see we have uh, published added few RDS servers here, two RDS servers and we have published few application and now it's time to connect these application and use this uh, resources on our client machine so we are going to do that and next we have two client machine here is WinCL01 and WinCL02 both are Windows client machine and both are joined in my domain victorinfosol.com so here you can see this is WinCL01 uh, join in my domain victorinfosol.com and uh, this is my WinCL02 also so this is WinCL02 so this is my infrastructure so what we can do now if I go to downloads you can see I have RAS client 64 bit downloaded and I'm going to install this on my machine both client machine Windows 7 client machine which is CL01 and CL02 so let's do this so welcome to the Palers client 64 bit setup so click next I accept the license term click next and this is going to be a path for destination folder for this client installation parallel so click next and uh, don't install and install so I'm going to install my single sign-on component because my parallels are running on single sign-on if I go disconnect and here you can see authentication type is single sign-on so I'm going to select the single sign-on install so click next and now I'm going to click install so it's going to uh, verify the local administrator access if you don't have it's going to pop up the and going to ask you the credential to install this application and get the local administrator rights on this machine so same we need to do on this machine also CL02 so I'm going to do this So it's going to take some time to get the installation done. So I'm going to provide my administration credential here. Now you can see it's copying new files, listing products. And now you can see Palace installation is completed. So I'm going not going to launch and we must need to restart so I'm going to restart the client machine and same I'm going to put my credential here on my CL02 and it's going to take few seconds to get the installation done and then we need to reboot this client machine also so here the installation is completed I'm going to restart CL02 now CL01 is rebooted and we can log in and now we can see Palace client on desktop so I'm going to launch this and you can see this message you have no RSA server configured so yes we need to add it right now so I'm going to select direct mode and uh, the server name here I'm going to copy my server name 
which is going to be our Paldars 01 so I'm going to put my Paldars 01 and here I'm going to just put Paldars 01 and you have advanced setting also if you want to you know modify any settings like printing uh, at uh, networking authentication anything you can modify I'm going to do this and then I'm going to put my credential here and click on connect so now you can see I have connected with Palace 01 and I can see what the application is published here and let's verify same on my client machine 1702 and let's launch configure first direct mode and I'm going to copy this name complete FQDN server name and I'm going to put the friendly name here click OK and then put the password first this account and here we are we are connected and now if I go here my parallels you can see the sessions which is coming for only from RSA admin right now because we are connected to palace but we have not launched any application so we have no session on the server side RDS01 actually we are just connected with the uh, this palace server so I'm going to launch now word on this CL01 and let's launch one application like PowerPoint here so it's going to take few seconds first time it's going to create a local profile on servers and then it's going to launch the application so let's wait for it so now you can see MS Office is launched and you can see small difference between icon this is going to show you the this is running on remote and if I go to task manager here and process you can see these tools like MS Office and PowerPoint is uh, Word and PowerPoint is not running here because it's running on uh, the server side so see this here I refresh this now you can see user 01 session is coming on this machine and if I go here and so process you can see what is the process running on this machine by the server so this is what connection is coming from device name device IP address and group all the details which you have here like resolution what the resolution of this machine and active session everything is there and now let's launch some application from here as well and we'll see how the server is going to you know redirect our sessions if we are going to launch from two servers to client machine so we have launched Excel uh, and Word on this machine basically you can see second time it's going to be just pop up like you are running the local application so now if I go here on sessions see we have some sessions so I'm going to launch again so now if I refresh this you can see we have session on from user 01 and 02 both and it's coming from two different client and it's going to two different RDS server so redirection is happening in correct way so the session is redirecting and if I go here you can see what the services are by using with the user you can see username and you can also kill the process from here from this administrative console so if I want to kill this word and PowerPoint we can see how it's going to kill so we have killed on RDS02 and now if I go here you 
can see what is running there and if I go here on user01 you can see the session are killed and also if you want you can go here and you can log off the user from here also so it's not going to launch any application so basically this is how you can install our your uh, Palers RAS client on your Windows machine and you can connect your application by using this uh, RAS client so this is all about the installation of Palers RAS client so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail address thank you once again bye bye